One of the most common questions I get is, what caliber do I need to kill an elk? My most common answer is probably the caliber that you already have. And whether you're a deer hunter, whether you're an elk hunter, whatever, caliber is often overrated. If you make a poor shot, it doesn't matter what bullet, what caliber you're shooting. A 338 or a 375 with a marginal shot is not going to kill an elk. Whereas maybe a 243 with a perfectly placed shot is going to kill an elk. But I want to give you the confidence that if you have a deer rifle that you use, say it's a 270 or it's a 280 or it's a 30 out 6, if you are really comfortable with that rifle, odds are you're going to be really accurate. And if you take really good bullets with really good shot placement, you're going to tag a lot of elk. When you ask me this question, a lot of it's going to be personal preference. And my personal preference is a 308 or a 7mm08. Some of you look at that little bullet and say, that's an elk cartridge? Yep. Well placed shots with this. This cartridge is super, super accurate. Why wouldn't I shoot the most accurate rifles I have for elk? Does this make sense? And the 300 Win Mag is a absolutely lethal elk cartridge. But sometimes we're talking about new shooters, we're talking about smaller frame shooters, younger shooters. Which of these is going to result in the most bench time? The most practice? For a younger shooter, a newer shooter, it's going to be one of these smaller calibers, the 308 or the 7mm 08. Accuracy determines shot placement. Shot placement determines what kind of impacts you're going to have when that bullet gets there. Quality ammunition, quality bullets determines what's that, what that bullet's going to do when it penetrates. And that determines how many elk you hang your tag on. A day for me at the range is, okay, I'm going to go out, I'm going to get my zero exactly where my dials tell me. Once I have my zero, then I want to go out when it's raining, I want to go out when it's windy, I want to go out when there's a crosswind, when there's a, a tailwind. Hunting is not a function of perfect conditions. I'm going to do a lot of things when I'm out there that help me decide which caliber do I shoot the, accurate, the most accurately. Then I'm going to go and find the best ammo and the best bullet I can find for that caliber. Distance is important. Understand what your bullet does at that distance. Very seldom do I take a shot at an elk that's over 300 yards. I just, I don't feel the need to. Most often you're going to be able to get around 200 yards on an elk. Looking at all these elk on my shop wall, all the elk in my house, the number of them that were shot over 400 yards is a pretty small percentage. You can't talk about elk hunting and elk caliber, elk ammunition, without talking about shot selection. And that probably holds true for every species. But with elk being big, thick, tough hide, tough bone, in most instances, if you're patient and you get set up, if that bull's feeding or just bedded, sooner or later they're going to feed in a direction or stand and give you a broadside or quartering shot. When we're talking about shot selection, that is also a factor of what caliber you decide to use. For me, I want broadside shots or I want quartering shots. That's why I'm comfortable using a 7mm 08 or a 308. I would caution anyone from thinking that you can make up for poor quality shot selection by using a bigger caliber. This doesn't work. One last point about elk. Elk are tough animals. If you hit an elk, shoot until that elk is on the ground. Yeah, he might have been dead on his feet, but I don't like to chase wounded elk. I don't want to take any risk. When the elk's on the ground, then it's time to celebrate. <laughs> if you have a deer caliber, feel, feel comfortable using it for elk. 
Just make sure that you have good equipment, that you've practiced, that you're comfortable with your shot placement under all conditions, all shooting position, and use really good bullets. And that elk hunt is gonna end the way you dreamed of it.